Good day. I guess you can probably kind of see me there in the reflection. Uh, but anyways, uh, so you may recognize this laptop. Uh, it's been around for a while. Three years ago, I did a video where I installed the uh, beta of Windows 7. And uh, for so some odd reason, it ended up getting a lot of views. I'm not sure why. But anyways, I figured I'd try the experiment again. Uh, so I've installed Windows 8, uh, the consumer preview on this computer. And we're going to boot it up. So this is a Toshiba Satellite A100. It is six years old, so it's been around for a while. Uh, still plugging away. A um, little bit crankier than it used to be. Uh, but so far, my tests of Windows 8 on this, uh, well, it's not as quick as it could be, but it's well, still not too bad. So here we're loading up. So, and the uh, pre-release operating system on this was Windows XP Media Center, so three Windows releases later, and we're trying... Windows 8, it's had Vista, it's had 7 on it. I usually keep XP, but I figured I'd try the experiment right here. So anyway, so we've got the new start screen. I do have some issues with this, but I'm going to cover that in another video. Here is just the test of the computer, so I'll bring up Internet Explorer. There we go, Internet Explorer is slowly coming up. IE 10. Okay, and uh, she's loading up the Windows 8 Consumer Preview homepage. And then, there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little scratch on the screen where the cat got at it, but all in all, the computer's not in bad shape considering this is probably, this has more man hours on it than any other computer I've ever used. Uh, it's by far the oldest computer in our house, but it still works, so I still keep it around. Anyway, so we'll get out of that. And we'll go into settings as soon as I can get over there. Come on. There we go. There's devices, settings. I'm connected. Actually, this time didn't have any trouble getting this hooked up to the internet. This, the uh, inbuilt wireless on this tends to be a little bit touchy, but well, here we go. Devices. Yeah, I don't have any devices on it yet. And we got all our usual stuff. And then we go into desktop, which is our standard Windows screen. Uh, the issues that I have with this, like I said, I'm going to cover in another video. I just uh, wanted to demonstrate how Windows 7 works on this, so just a short video. Anyway, so here's the new Windows Explorer Manager. I don't think there's a lot of hard drive space left on this. So I've got, well, 21 gigs left. Obviously, this is fairly old. It does not have a large hard drive. There's the backup drive. So we'll close that off. Okay, so I'm in the control panel right now. Okay, so there are basic setting about the computer, Windows 8 consumer preview. Still only has one gig of RAM, which when I bought this many years ago, that was a lot. Now it's, well, barely enough to run Windows on. And there we go. Product ID and all that. Okay, so now, just for a laugh, we're just going to go in to rate this computer and see how she does. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes to run the rating. I rated 2.0 at a 9.9, .9, um, so 
is pretty much expect um, it hasn't rated that high because it is well it's six years old so they could suppress it that it can even run a modern operating system uh, so processor 3.0 RAM 4.5 graphics 2.0 Gaming 2.2, primary hard disk 4.1. I can't remember exactly what the ratings for Vista were, but way back then this computer actually rated pretty high. But uh, I guess for right now that's probably about the you know, way you'd expect. This is the bare minimum that you'd require to run uh, Windows 8. But like I said, it's just an experiment. Uh, so I just wanted to see how this computer would handle it. And I'll still play around with it. It's actually, I prefer running it on an actual computer rather than uh, in VMware Fusion. just gives me a better handle on it. But anyway, so we'll sign out. Takes it a few seconds to go back to the lock screen. And there's my lock screen. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And have yourselves a wonderful day.